Welcome, folks, to tonight's game. This one promises to be a good one between the Ohio State Buckeyes and the UCLA Bruins. Dick, you look at this one, and it doesn't look like it's going to be a great game, but sometimes we get surprised. I'll tell you what, it looks like an m and but you never know if they come out and get an early start and play with some confidence and get that early lead, they can put pressure on the favorite. The Bruins are facing a very formidable opponent, Dick. What are the keys to their success? Hey, tonight the keys to their success are these, Brad. First of all, it's up to the point guard to be the leader to control the entire tempo of the game. Second, make their outside shooters into drivers. Attack them, be aggressive on the D. Finally, set good interior screens to free up your big men on the block. Look to the inside first. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Fed the low block. Entry pass in the paint. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. The ball goes out of bounds. And the ball goes out of bounds. Should that basketball help one another communicate? He looks at the hoop. The point guard takes the pass. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? the elbow they feed down to the low and has it rejected defense did a great job with the block shot and again they look to run on the dribble gives it up goes up for two doesn't go shows patience waiting for the reset those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters I'll tell you one thing that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball you talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. He'll regroup the offense. Watch out. Five-second call approaching. Leans in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Got a nice screen. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. He shows the sweet touch. The shooting guard takes the feed. They work it around the perimeter. Jumps in. Contact causes the shot to come off. Look at the student section, Dick. Cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. The student section looks like they're having a great time. And he'll kick it back outside. Trying to pack it inside. He looks for three. Goes in. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Inside. The center takes the pass in the paint. There's a whistle and a foul on the inside. What a great job of putting the ball to the floor and attacking the basket, taking advantage of a slow post play. High post flashes inside. He gets the rejection. The point guard with the ball.
A little frustration right there. The shooting guard gets the pass. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Looking for a good shot. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. He's a high riser. He's the elevator man. Up, up, and away. The center gets the ball. Perfectly executed. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. On the outside, he's got some room. Gave it up. And one too many dribbles and a steal. That suit's got to be feeling pretty hot about now. Things are not going well. Wow, look at the dejection, the disappointment, the depression, the three Ds. Here's a double team. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. Tries for two. Ohio State are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Nick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nestler. We've got a good one going. Double team now. Bad angle. It's stolen. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. On the outside. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. Both teams are looking to get something going here. On the dribble, gives it up. Oh, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. He puts it in with contact and all. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensive. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. They're off into transition. The dunk and one. Great job of going up strong and through the contact, baby. What a play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. Most of Ohio State's success came in the 60s, making it to three national title games. Hey, they only won one of those national title games, but they were definitely a powerhouse. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. The student body is rocking tonight. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. Tries the three. Ohio State have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. They'll work it around the arc. And he'll kick it back outside. Fakes it. He dials long distance. He drains it. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. He gets the bucket. That 
was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. Sets a screen for his teammate. He attempts the trifecta. Ain't no stopping him right now from the arc, Dick. You better believe it, baby. They're making him pay from out there. Number 42 wants the crowd to get fired up and involved. I guess he feels that this defensive possession is a big one. And the ball goes out of play. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, it's still close, and it's very early, but there needs to be some sense of urgency on the favorites' bench tonight so this one doesn't get out of hand, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. They work the perimeter. He fires away. It sticks. On the inside. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Here we go on the break. Looking for contact. Ohio State are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. The crowd loves this young man. The fans know exactly how much he has done for this program. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I tell you, he took a chance, and he lost, baby. They scored seven in a row. Robs him of the ball. Trying to run the other way. Trying to draw some contact. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Working it around the perimeter. Gave it up. He's open if he wants the shot. From left of the circle, he's money with the shot. The fake. There's the trap. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. High post flashes for the opportunity. He takes the shot. He gets the shot to fall. Both teams looking to get things going here. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. On the dribble, gives it up. There's a double team waiting there. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. For two, the Bruins have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. He puts it up, scorches the net. Work it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. With the fake. 
trying to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind he's flopping, baby. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Easy one. Looking for the foul. Up and in. Great anticipation defensively. Pushes it up. He puts up the three ball. Ohio State are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Three. Got it. He's just not giving the effort on defense. He's not putting up a good fight at all. Entry pass in the paint. Tries for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Number 31 is feeling great right now. Hey, can you blame him, Red? He's getting it done. He goes with a baby hook. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Red, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. On the inside, he fakes the shot. Goes up for two. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. The high screen. There they come with a double team to stop it. Looking for a good shot. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Tan on the shot clock. Strips the ball. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Let's get a replay, baby. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Fake. Oh, what a strip, Rad. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. The Bruins have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. In the paint. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. Here's a double team from three-point territory. He nails the bucket. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Turns it over. Tries for two. You betcha. You. 
Picks off the pass. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. And he scores despite the hack. Look at that spacing. On the inside, trying to draw the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Up and inside. There's a high screen. Perfectly executed. He shoots from right of the circle. Off the rim and no good. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. The Bruins go to the line for the first time in this game. First shot, good. Trips the ball loose. It's a fast break possibility. Steals the ball. Entry pass in the paint for the bucket. They still don't score. Move it into the front court. The ball goes out of play. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Pandemonium has taken over Pauley Pavilion. Look out. Opportunity for two for one. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. On the inside. Stolen away. And back they come the other way. Puts it up, looking for contact. Great shot. He shoots from the angle. The Bruins have got to continue to get him the ball. And he's on fire. At halftime, the Buckeyes are up by seven. We've had a very tight contest tonight, Dick. What's your highlight of the half? This one's big for me, Brad. The long trifecta. Shots like this can sometimes get a team going in a hurry. It's time to get back to the court, Dick, and see how this second half plays out. 
UCLA carelessly gave away a lot of possessions by turning the ball over. Their coaching staff must be livid right now. The amount of extra opportunities they're giving away is just absurd. This young man gets the rejection. He's a high riser. Sensational, baby. Everyone likes to see the lower-ranked team beat the higher-ranked team, it seems. I like to call it David versus Goliath, rooting for the underdog. And a lot of time, Brad, the underdog surprises everyone and steals the W. Kicks off the lazy pass. UCLA has, count them, four undefeated seasons. That feat may never be repeated, Dick. Those teams had some talent, not to mention a Hall of Fame coach. I don't think their accomplishments will ever be duplicated. He fires it up, buried it. Looks like the defender's a little bit tired out there. This is no time to be tired. Get a sub if you need a break. Takes the pass in the paint. Nice fake. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. He buries the shot. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Ooh, look at the shot block. We got some contact. Nice hops. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far. Hey Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. sucker out of the game, man. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. Good fake. With a fadeaway jumper. Look at that follow through. Doesn't go. Jumped in front to take it away. Gave it up. Jumps into the defender. Gets it to go. Picked out of the air. Now coming down with numbers. Picked off. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. There's a slam. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really good. A great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. it off him. The ball goes out of bounds. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. I'm celebrating too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. And the ball goes out of bounds. 
there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. On the dribble, gives it up. Double team now, bad angle. Puts it up. Off the rim and no good. Takes away the pass. Number 42 with the fake. For two. I love this guy hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. And a momentary look from three-point land. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Great play to take that to the basket. Stolen. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. Don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert. Get the number game going. Dump it inside. He draws a foul. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion. What passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Tries for two, tickles a twine. The Bruins trail by five. Gave it up, he intercepts it. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. You can't forget about them. The witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. The Bruins have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. Perfectly executed. away way off target looking for a good shot goes up for two makes the shot tries to turn the defense comes up with a play what a terrific play to stop that spin move there was no doubt about that one. He intercepts it. He shoots from left of the circle. He drains the long range bomb. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Here's the 
Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Gave it up. Picked out of the air. The post flashes up high if he wants it. And the ball goes out of play. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Dick and Brad, there was a question coming into tonight's matchup. Are the favorites worthy of their ranking? From their performance so far tonight, it looks as if the naysayers were right. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. He hits the shot. Taking over Pauly Pavilion. Look out. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle day. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Yeah, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Leans in. Basket falls despite the contact. UCLA definitely has that aura and that presence about. Well, you've got the Wizard of Westwood. A rich history, undefeated seasons. The and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Steals a pass. He shoots from long range. He drains the shot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. There's the pick. There's the roll. Great play to take that to the basket. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. He strokes it. It sticks. How about this? Changing, Brad. These days, guys are consistently playing above the rim. The ball goes out of play. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. He blocks the shot. The ball goes out of bounds. On the inside. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. On the outside, 
The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle. A poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Off right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> In the paint. He attempts a jump hook. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. UCLA is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Takes it off him. They push it up on the break. Oh, he's got hops like you, man. He got hops <laughs> like you. Yeah, it is pretty similar. Wow. I didn't realize my partner was a high riser. Dumps it in. Run him right into the screen again. What did I say? Picked off. On the dribble, gives it up. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. There they come with a double team to stop it. Off the rim and no good. This one might go down to the final buzzer. You've got to love these close ones, Brad. Every error is magnified and could be the difference between a win or a loss. He nails the bucket. Gave it up. Picks off the pass. For the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. On the dribble, gives it up. For the deuce. Oh, you gotta knock those down. Great screen, but no go. Gave it up. Jumped in front to take it away. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. It's stolen. Here's a double team. He pump fakes. Michael Screen. He shoots from the elbow. Ohio State are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they ought to keep pushing and seeing if they can't force a timeout. They work it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Strips the ball. Here they go into transition. He gets the bucket and the foul. He's here to fight, baby. That's a big play. Look at him sneering at the crowd. They won't like that one bit. Brad, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator.
Sometimes timeouts can take teams right out of their rhythm, Brad. Let's see what happens here. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Double team now, bad angle. And a momentary look from three-point land. He shoots from the top of the key. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show is about to start, Brad. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. No good. Jumps in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. They work the perimeter. He launches the bomb. Rims out. In the paint. Robs him of the ball. The pavilion has become definite. They're going well here in Los Angeles, California. Stolen ball. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Now they work it around the perimeter. Looking for contact. Sweet looking shot. He is sweet, but he really is. He shoots from the top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Picks off the lazy pass. And that one's blocked. He intercepts it. Number 42 wants the fans to get behind him and his team. Well, he wants the crowd to get up for this defensive possession. For the bucket. I'll tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. And I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside, outside action. Looking to move it around the perimeter. I think they're trying to make a statement. And we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brad, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession air timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. He intercepts it. Kicks it out. Up and inside. Moving it around the perimeter. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. 10 on the shot clock. He shoots from right of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Gave it up. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. He puts it up quick to beat the clock. Shot clock is dead. Great play to take that to the basket. Attempts the Hail Mary. Rims out. 
We see this occasionally, Dick. You know, they were expected to win this ball game, and at times it looked like they were going to be able to pull it out. But hey, this is a big shocker for them. Well, I think what happened, Brian, they really weren't focused. And right now, to some real the reality, I think they start getting a little cocky. Maybe reading their press clippings, but now maybe they'll say to themselves, you know what? We better come to play, and we better be ready. And I think that starts with practice. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. UCLA loses the game. This is the type of game that the coaching staff will be studying for weeks to come. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.